Hey guys, do you want to learn how to make a lion in Cricut Craft Room without a cartridge needed? Keep watching and I'll show you how. You may notice that I changed the color of every layer. This is so I know what the project will look like before I cut it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this semicircle. I'm going to shape it down to the size I want. And then I'm going to take this rounded edge square and I'm going to shape it down to the size I want into a rectangle. I'm going to copy and paste this three more times so I have four in total. By two, I'm going to take each of these and I am going to put them on both ends of the semicircle. Next, I'm going to go back and I'm going to find the parentheses shape. I'm going to rotate it and shape it down to the size I want. This is going to be the lion's tail. I'm going to go back and to the funky shapes and I'm going to use this for the end of the lion's tail. I think it looks best. While building your lion, remember to weld. So next I am going to just move the body down as I am finished with it and I'm going to create a second layer. This is going to be for the lion's mane and it is super simple. I'm going to use this flower shape and that is all I am going to do. There are other shapes that work for a lion's mane, but this one works for now. So I'm going to make a third layer to build the lion's face. You can do this in the first layer, but I wanted to make sure I had all the dimensions right. So I'm going to take this circle, I'm going to shape it down to the size I want, and then take the circle again, rotate it slightly, and add it to the sides of this circle to make the lion's face and ears. It's really simple. Because I'm a perfectionist, I want to make sure they're even, so I'm going to copy and paste the one I already added on. In a fourth layer, I am going to create the lion's nose and mouth. I am turning the circle into an oval, flipping him sideways, then taking the parentheses shape to make his smile, and then taking an L shape to connect the nose and the mouth. Next, I'm going to take the V and shape it down for the whiskers. You can also rotate or flip to make them how you want. And finally, I'm going to take the circle and make it into an oval and make the lion's eyes. It's real simple. And then when I have him all cut out and pasted together, this is what he will look like. So, do you like him? I hope so, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Every shape used to create this lion came from Cricut Font and Basic Shapes and Cricut Craft Room Basics, which all come free with a download of Cricut Craft Room. No cartridge, no problem. So, is there any animal that you would like to see? Comment below and let me know. And also, feel free to subscribe to see more videos like this. Bye guys, happy crafting, and thanks for watching.